Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough of TSRPR, a game far more professional than Chaos Complex! <laughs> I'm over here at the top secret area, fully lifed up as well as powered up, because I'm preparing myself for making this part ahead of time, you know, via Snide Tide. But anyway, I'm gonna now show you these doors up here. Bowser and his minions possess several dimensional gates, which lead to another dimension called Second Reality. These gates are well hidden in castles 1 through 5, Wendy's Pyramid, and Bowser's Palace. Or, at least they were hidden until you found this. No, they're just slightly well hidden. Can you find them? Well, you better be able to, now that you know where to look for them. <laughs> So, oh, oh yeah, that leads you out, you gotta go back in to see the other, the other door. But yeah, these doors can only be accessed once you find said switch palaces via this hint right here. So the top secret area is like a, a multi-visit sort of area to be able to figure, I mean, to be able to find your way into these doors, basically. And another text blurb! When you defeat Ludwig, his castle will crash into the volcano. If you visit the volcano, you're sure, you're sure to notice the crashed ca castle in the lava pool. I mean, you really can't miss it. You can even enter it and find Ludwig's lost composition. What? That doesn't sound like it's worth the trouble. What if I told you there are two exits? Ooh! So yeah, two exits are in the crash landed castle. And there's a reason why I saved this castle for last. Uh, well, first, because of that, they'll switch palaces, and second, because they lead you to something after you do this. So anyway, Crash Landed Castle. Here we go. Yes! The music of Acoustic Castle is back, because Crash Landed Castle is Acoustic Castle, but, you know, destroyed. <laughs> so here we are. We get the wonderful music while we explore. These blocks. Yes, many, many blocks around the place for some reason. It's a mystery. Well, there's a cape in that one. You might very well need a cape. Just saying here. And I'm just gonna go back over and there's a flower in that one. Probably hit that one first and then get the cape block. You know, go th through the bottom blocks first and then get the cape. Um, anyway, you want to go over here and just explore this little corridor here. This right here is Ludwig's last composition. And this right over here is a dead end. So let's grab Ludwig's lost composition here. And end off the level's first exit. Woo! Oh yeah. So that wasn't too difficult for the first exit, but obviously that's not going to get you anywhere. So we got to go back in here. Now, where do we have to go from here? You'll notice that there isn't anything outside, but if you go inside, you can potentially maybe go up here. Oh, a P-switch. So let's hit that P-switch. Yeah, coins. So many coins. I love coins. Well, actually, they're kind of boring. But still, it's, it's an okay bonus, I guess, for getting lives and whatnot. And yeah, well, that appears to be it. Huh, isn't that weird? There's no... No other exit up there, so where where the heck could that be? I mean, it's just crazy talk. I mean, there couldn't possibly be a secondary exit in this place. Could there? Yes, there is. This castle is one of the most misleading places in the entire game. So grab the P-switch, and instead of getting the coins up there, go down here by Ludwig's Lost Composition, a little bit past Ludwig's Composition, and look at this triangular hole cut out in the wall here. Bang! There's a door. Alright! We aren't done yet. We gotta go down here! Actually, this is incorrect. There's... Slightly miscolored lava here. Remember that for later. But regular lava here. But anyway, yeah, this is actually an incorrect route. You're like, what? How is this incorrect? We come across this, this symphony of potentially Ludwig's lost composition in music form. Well, Mario Paint sort of kind of music form. I think these are substituted for some dragon coins, some moons, etc, etc. But yeah, you, when you come to the end of this room, you're gonna see this door here. And you come back all the way over here. You're like, oh man, this isn't the way to the secret exit. Oh, but it is the way to the secret exit. I know I'm wasting a lot of time here, but I, would, I really want to show you just how misleading this castle is. So let's go and do this route one more time. But we're going to do something a little different when we get through this door right here. So we go through this door, and 
Now we go up here. Yeah, this is... How are you supposed to think of this? <laughs> and now here's something even more obscure. You want to get yourself a star out of this thing. Try and get a star. Yes, got it, got it, got it. Now go in the dark colored lava, which is more like hot cherry juice. And since you have a star, you can go in it. Look at that, here's another door. Let's go in it. <gasps> and look, we need a switch palace to reach this door. No, we're not going back. <laughs> Warning! Malfunction detected! Internal error occurred at address X1F11! No exit location set. Do not enter the gateway. But we have to! There's a, this is the secret exit! Warning! Transfer beam enabled. No exit location set. Please change your gateway desk settings and restart the system. Go off to the right here and go about, like, I'd say around here. It's kind of a, kind of a feel thing. Yeah, you want to land right here. Another obscure thing, otherwise you're gonna fall to your doom. Go in here. Oh! We have made it. To the game's final world! Yeah, there's actually a world 10 in this game. And this level, let's call Crash Land the Castle here, is not actually Crash Landed Castle, it's called Silly Clone Hilly. Um, this is one of the reasons why I did Chaos Complex before I got into these levels because these levels reference Chaos Complex in a certain way um, like say let's go into this level and you'll see what I mean as we get into this so silly clone hilly huh well we got these odd shaped you know, Mario head guys I, I was never really a fan of the Mario heads on Koopas in my opinion <laughs> And we end up um, outside. Oh, what, 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 what is this? It looks like that one dash two level. Yeah. What is this craziness? Hey, there's Yoshi. He's got a text box. Yippee! Thank you for saving me. It seems they're stuck in this weird dimension together. Let's see if we can find the way out of here. Yeah, you can't leave this place until you get like until you beat all the levels in the place. Well. Ideally, until you beat all the levels in the place. So yeah, well, doesn't this seem uh, very chaos complexy? Aside from you know the good re good graphics, <laughs> but what I mean is that having like copy like blatant copies of already existing levels was a thing that Chaos Complex did, as well as uh, you know the, the whole bad hack uh, joke theme that the thing had. You know by not changing very much of uh, said hacks and whatnot. Oh, Yoshi, no. So, yeah, these levels in this place, this this place, uh, I'm not sure if I should spoil the name of it or not, uh, but th the levels in this place are, again, another one of those sorts of bad design by design sort of things. I mean, yeah, this design isn't all that bad, but if you know the original Super Mario World, you know, there's there's a little bit more to this as a, as a level than, you know, meets the eye as a, you know, as a hack or whatnot. <laughs> So yeah, you could probably see quite a bit of similarities to this, and as you can also tell, this level is not all that difficult as well. Uh, look at that Chuck. It's an interesting sprite change for Chuck, I think. Yeah, I think it is different than the other Chucks in the game. Anyway, midpoint! Next area! Go! <laughs> Woo. Oh, this is looking even more familiar, like as if Koopas would slide down on top of your head. Hmm. There wouldn't happen to be bonsai bills around this place now, would there? That would be cr Oh, there are bonsai bills! Could it be Yoshi's Island 1? Oh, I think it is. Well, at least a modification of it. <laughs> I should be checking more of these pipes here. But yeah, as you can tell, while these levels are designed okay, they're more of the sort of kind of joke levels that we would see in Chaos Complex. Except, you know, with more polished graphics. <laughs> So yeah, again, that's why I wanted to do Chaos Complex first, because I feel that you would be missing out on the joke of these levels if I didn't do that first. Look look at that, look at that, just like Chaos Complex's trap. Huh. Huh. <laughs> so yeah, if you haven't seen Chaos Complex, uh, do so. It's only a five-part series, so even if you think that the hack is a joke, it's actually really, really well made overall because it, it, it does its job of being a joke hack really, really well. 
Um, oh, I chain shot. Anyway, I found. Oh, I lost my Yoshi. But anyway, I found the exits. Yeah, it wasn't that difficult. <laughs> but get it? Silly clone hilly. Because it's clones of the first two levels of Yoshi's Island in the original game. See it? See, now it's showing the. Uh, the name of the level now. It's just a little glitch that it shows as Crash Landed Castle when you first enter here. So, yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna end off the part here because I'm pretty sure these two exits of Perplex Rosa, which also sound familiar as a name, don't they? Anyway, these two exits of Perplex Rosa could take me a while to get. So, with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.